Everybody say hello! <laughs> They're sooty and sweet And of course soon And little cousin Gampy They'll be fun galore With the terrible four Just you wait and see It's sooty and company Sooty and company What's going on? This letter is what's going on. Just listen to this. This is to the occupier of Sooty and Co. L listen, listen. Dear sir, it recently has been established that you are the true third laird of Glenferry Castle in the Highlands of Scotland. Listen to this bit. Please get to the castle as soon as possible. Except that that's me, Sue. That's me. I am really the third laird of Glenferry. Wow, you're joking. No. So what are you going to do about it? Why, we lassie and we laddie, I'm away to my rightful him. I am away with my letter. <laughs> I'll take the high road and you... Oh, never mind his letter. He's away with the fairies, if you ask me. So if you go and get Sweep and Scampy, I'll put up the clothes sign. We're heading north of the border. You know, I've always had the feeling that I was Scottish. And now, it's been confirmed. Hey, the third laird of Glenferry Castle. Yes, Bonnie Scotland, I'm on my way home. Uh, would you like to ken my glen? OK, away you go, pal. Oh, you take the high road and I'll take the low road and I'll be in Scotland. I wasn't the only person in the Highlands. Unbeknown to me, I had a muckle wee beastie or two on my tail. When I say wild, I mean wild but nice. OK, the Scots are not afraid of a bit of cold. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, you gave me a bit of a shock. I didn't notice you standing there wearing a dress. Uh, I was wondering, could you um, tell me the way to Glenferry Castle? <laughs> it's obviously local. I've got to speak to them in their own local language. <laughs> See you, pal, Jim. It's a broad break, moonlit, neck to neck. There's a moose loose about the house. I don't suppose you could see your way clear to lending me the directions to Glenferry Castle. You notice I said a lend, because you never ever ask a Scotsman to give you directions. Aye. Good. We're on our way. Go ahead. Get a car. And then he turned right. Thanks a lot. It's great, that. You just could have an ear for the language. <laughs> Hello there. It's Sooty and Sweep, isn't it? I thought so. Oh, I'd recognise you two anywhere. I expect you're looking for Glenferry Castle, are you? Well, if you follow this road for as far as you can, then stop. Because you can't go any further. Well, then you'll be there. That'll be Glenferry Castle. <laughs> it's simple, isn't it? Oh, and talking of simple, you be careful. There are some very strange people about. Have a good journey now. Daddy, bye. <laughs> see you, Jimmy. Here, see you. Do you want a muck chop supper or a heavy? <laughs> Hello there. Thought I'd better just, you know, polish up on my Scottishness. I don't think that man back there fully understood me. The problem is, where am I going to find somewhere that can... Look at that! Learn to be a true Scot. That's perfect. 
see you in a wee while. Brilliant. Brilliant, girls. Well done. <laughs> right, you've seen me doing it. Now you have a go. Who? Me? No, I, no, I don't, uh, I don't think well, so. Well, if you want to be a true Scot, you'll have to be able to do the Highland fling. Well, I, well, I, mean, I, I mean, being a Scot, obviously, I mean, I can do. I can't. Oh, what, what is that? What is this? What? what? I'd feel a lot more Scottisher if I had the right clothes on. One of those dress things, you know, and a funny hat. The thing is, where am I going to find a shop which... <laughs> to a shop that sells kilts, tam shanters and other very Scottish things. Well, that sounds about right. <laughs> to sue. I mean, mm -hmm. my legs, they're, they're bare. Oh, mm -hmm. Matthew, such has had bare legs for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Bare legs. Mm -hmm. Bare legs. Very, very good, that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what do you think? What do you think? Oh, well, good is not the word to describe the way you look, Matthew. Mm -hmm. Yes, but Sue, the look isn't finished yet. Oh. Um, my man, could I have one of those hat thingamajigamies? <coughs> That's good. Thank you, Bless you. Too small, too small. Too small, too small, too small, too small, too small. Oh, too small! Dear, you're having a bit of trouble with the old tam shanter then. Mm -hmm. Yes, but patience, Sue, because it's not always easy to find a hat which fits you. Well, the boys don't seem to have had too much trouble. What? Hey, that's great, that. Apparently, that's great, that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Pleasure, pal. See you. Hey, hey, Jimmy, sock it to him. <laughs> this, Jimmy. Just a wee touch of tartan to make us Scottishers feel mere at home. <laughs> Shop! Ah, oh, there you are, McMatthew. Uh, oh, goodness me, the weather's bracing. Did you find it colder in the Cairngorms? That's a trick question, isn't it, Sue? Well, I am not falling for that. 
Because I am a canny Scot, mm. and us Scottish people have a sort of sixth sense about things. Cancellor! <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon, sorry. Hey, haven't I... Uh, didn't we just... Uh, did, oh, never mind. Just give us a room for the night. Aye, right, laddie. You'll hear the piper sweet. Piper sweet? Aye, the piper sweet. Now, away with you. And can me when I tell you, I wish you well. Now then, you four, would you like a room as well? Oh, yes, please. Will we be near Matthew? Well, I don't really recommend that side of the hotel. Mm. But I'll give you a lovely room with a lovely view. <laughs> well, the man was certainly right about the view in Sue's room. Oi, come on, you lot. Come on, make room for me. <laughs> oh, this room's so cosy, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Wonder how Matthew's getting on. <laughs> what is that? Bagpipes? At this time? Oh. Ah, oh, listen to that. You can just hear the pipes playing in the distance. I hope it helps Matthew to sleep well. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is ridiculous. Can't they go and play those leaves somewhere else? <sighs> night, night, Matthew. Sleep tight. Matthew? Matthew! Oh. Are you oh. listening to me? Oh, sorry, so I nearly nodded off then. I didn't have a very good night's sleep. <laughs> oh, yes, did you hear the piper playing last night, Matthew? He was doing it for quite a long time. <laughs> you heard him at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and you heard him at three, sweet, <laughs> yes. I heard him at four, and then, then he stopped. Quite suddenly, there was a sudden, like, scream! Then this eerie silence. Why do I stop playing so suddenly like that? I can't imagine, Sue. So. <sighs> now, where is my breakfast? Oh, dear. That's our fault, Matthew. What? Why? Well, knowing you're Scottish, we thought you wouldn't want bacon and egg like us lot. No? No. We knew that you'd like a breakfast fit for a Scot. So, uh, uh, so we ordered something special for you. So what do you order for me? Porridge! Porridge! Oh. 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 Just a minute, just a minute. I can't eat this. Not in this state. No, no, of course you can't, Matthew. Everyone knows that. Well, everyone knows what, Sue? Oh, everyone can. You can eat porridge without any salt. But don't you fight yourself. There. <laughs> Here you go. You're away, Lou. It's great, that. <laughs> Look, never mind about not having a good night's sleep. Forget all about having to eat salty porridge. I've even delayed my arrival at Glenferry Castle because, apparently, Scampy has had a big tip-off. Is that right, Sue? That's right, Matthew. Apparently, he's heard that there's been a sighting of the Loch Ness Monster. And he said he's going to take you to the actual place so that you can see the monster as well. Yes, and do you know something, Sue? Mm -hmm. I reckon that five pounds is a very reasonable price for Scampy to be charging for me to go to the place where I can view the famous Loch Ness Monster. Don't you think so? I'll tell you something. I am in for quite an experience. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll go along with that, Matthew. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone here? Scampy, where are you? Here we are, Matthew. Oh, there you are. L listen, I thought we were meant to be uh, seeing the Loch Ness Monster. Where's Scampy? Uh, yes, that's right. He's trying to coax the monster close in. Uh, just, just a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not going to see the Loch Ness Monster in there. I mean, that's not Loch Ness. Loch Ness is this amazing stretch of water with wonderful scenery on either side. That is a perishing puddle. Oh, no! Loch Ness isn't where the monster is. That's why people have been finding it so difficult to spot. They should have been looking here, here at 
Loch Ness. Loch Ness. This is all sounding extremely suspicious to me. Yep, yep, OK. Uh, Sooty says if you pay us the five pounds, you'll be able to see the monster. <laughs> you must be joking. Remember, I am a Kenny Scott, the third laird of Glenferry. <laughs> and I'm near going to part with my money as easily as that. There is definitely something fishy going on. Well, I mean, obviously, if I see the monster, then you can have the five pounds. But if... <laughs> What was it? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Mike! Ah! I've seen the Loch Ness monster, and it's just there. Loch Ness Monster. Well, it didn't have me fooled for a second. Anyway, pathetic little practical jokes like that just pale into insignificance because, according to my map, we're almost there. Yes, Glenferry Castle, I reckon, should be just at the end of this road. <gasps> oh! Look at that! There, my ancestral hymn. I'm away to claim my rights, so I am. It's great, isn't it? This is my hymn. <laughs> ah, yes, 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 yes. I <laughs> will it be. Sorry, I'm get... Hang on, I'm at the... I'm... I'm... I'm I, uh... Yeah. Sorry. No, it's just that, um, I've got a letter here, you see, and I... I've come to claim my ancestral rights. Away with you! What? Just, no, 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 just a minute, listen, listen. I am the third laird of Glenferry Castle. Pyaaah! Stuffing nonsense. You be gone. You're no right in the heat, son. Listen to me, my man. You are looking at the laird of Glenferry. Hey! So ah, uh, that's right enough. My lord, welcome him. Well, you know, come on in. That's a bit better. OK, now, if you just stand no, to one No, you, sec balloon head. <laughs> him yonder. He's a third laird of Glenferry. And so, let me get this right. The letter about being the third laird of Glenferry wasn't for Matthew at all. No, Sue, it was for the real Laird of Glenferry, and that is Sooty. Wow! Now, as you can see from the family portrait of his grandfather, mm -hmm. the first Laird of Glenferry, that the lineage is unquestionable. Oh, dear. I hope Matthew won't be too disappointed. Oh, I think he'll get over it, eh? Now, come on. We've organised a party to welcome the new Laird. <laughs> with burger and chips, followed by jelly and ice cream, and lots of party poppers. <laughs> Oh, what's Matthew going to have? Well, I've organised a private little party for him. Mm, with great music and plenty to eat, sweet. Look at this! Great music, plenty to eat. Does anybody like porridge? And there's plenty of salt on it. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.